Situated on 1,600 acres at the hub of the Great Lakes, Esser Steel Algoma is a 4 million ton integrated steel manufacturer in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. The largest employer in this city of 75,000, social and community needs are an important part of the company's operating approach and environmental performance is an essential consideration in all that we do. At SR Steel Algoma, our proven progress and continued investment in emission control initiatives demonstrate our leadership in environmental stewardship. In November 2011, we took our leadership to the global stage with the highly successful installation of an individualized oven pressure control system on our number 9 Coke battery. This $20 million investment in leading edge technology is conservatively estimated to reduce emissions from the battery by more than 70%. And our integrated team approach raised the bar in engineering excellence, safe skilled execution, and risk management. Uh, coke is a fuel that's used in a blast furnace. Uh, it's used to uh, reduce iron ore into molten iron. Uh, we typically we coke the coal for about 18 hours, at which point all the impurities in the volatile matter is driven off and there's a carbon pore structure that's left, which is coke, and then is removed from the oven. At SR Steel Algoma there are three coke batteries, number 7 battery, number 8 battery, and number 9 battery. Uh, they're traditional slot oven style batteries. Inherent in the design of a traditional style battery, uh, the entire battery is controlled at one pressure, so every oven has one pressure that it's controlled at. With individual oven pressure control, we have the ability to optimize the pressure within each oven, and therefore we can control uh, pressures at different times of the coking cycle and eventually reduce emissions uh, throughout the coking cycle. The installation of this technology at our batteries represents a first in North America, uh, and a second only retrofit across the globe. This puts us in the best available technology and represents leadership in controlling emissions from coke making batteries. The individualized uh, oven pressure control system has uh, two uh, gas collecting main, each weighing uh, 110 tons and 240 feet long. Two offtake mains, 90 feet long and 35 ton weight. We had 60 standpipes. These were all fabricated in-house. We have implemented this project with engineering procure and construct concept. In that concept, we are having an integrated team. And in that integrated team, the detailed engineering was provided by SR Engineering from India. The constructions, fabrications and installation has been done by SR Algoma project and construction team. During the installations, we have taken help from the local contractor. Our technology supplier for this IOPC project is Mrs. Uday from Germany. This project implementation was on an operating battery. Our business is coke constrained and the asset integrity of an idle battery was always in question. This high risk retrofit installations on a 40 years old battery was successfully commissioned with no lost time incidents. Our technology supplier Ude Germany had counseled us for a 14 month timeline on this project. The project team has been able to achieve this one in 10 and a half months with a precise planning, initiatives in installations which are innovative in nature and a precise quality control in our fabrications. The one lift concept introduced by the project team is to assemble all the components of collector main on the ground and then lift it as a one unit. This practice has been recognized and adopted by Ude going forward for the project implementations as a best practice. I was thrilled to see the skill and the talent of SR Algoma workforce while executing this brownfield project. Based on the tests that we did here at SR, we had a test oven that showed that we could achieve at least 70% uh, and probably more in emission reductions. Hopefully we'll see 80 to 85% reductions by the time we finish commissioning the entire system. Managing uh, emissions from coke making are long-standing issues. Uh, they require significant capital expenditures 
and we continue to strive for projects that will reduce the emissions of coking emissions and benzene from our byproducts. We have a series of programs and another two programs this year that we'll continue to work on as our continuous improvement projects.